Now let's take a look at problem number 27. In 27, we'd like to find the equation for the line tangent to the curve sine y plus 5x equals y squared at the point pi squared over 5 pi. All right, so if we're going to find the equation for a tangent line, we know we need two points. We need a point, uh, we need two different things. We need a point that's on that line, and we need the slope of the line at that point. We have a point already that's on the line, so what we're looking for is we need to find the slope of this curve at this point. So we need to find the derivative dy dx, plug in this point to the derivative dy dx, and find the slope at the point. Then we can use the point-slope equation of the line to figure out the equation of our tangent line. Okay, so the very first thing we need is we need to find what is dy dx for this curve. So let's find it. Uh, let's start out by just taking the derivative of each of these pieces implicitly. So if I take the derivative of sine of y, I get the cosine of y times the derivative of y, which is dy dx. If I take the derivative of 5x, I just get a 5. And if I take the derivative of y squared, I get 2y times dy over dx. Okay, so I've taken the derivative of this guy, but I haven't solved for dy dx. So now let's get all the dy dx's on one side of the equation. Let's get everybody else on the other side of the equation and solve for dy dx. So I get that uh, cosine y times dy dx uh, minus 2y dy over dx is equal to negative 5. So I just moved all of the dy dx stuff onto the left side, all of the non-dy dx stuff onto the other side. Now let's factor out the dy dx since every term in this equation has a dy dx in it. Uh, so we have a dy over dx times cosine of y minus 2y is equal to minus 5. And so we can solve for dy dx, and we get that dy dx is minus 5 divided by cosine of y minus 2y. Okay, so we have dy dx. And this is the slope at any point on this curve. So what we need to do now is let's just plug in our point, which in this case we only need the y value. We don't need the x value at all. So if we plug in y, and y is pi, then I get that dy over dx evaluated at the point pi squared over 5 pi is equal to negative 5 over cosine of pi minus 2 pi. And of course we know that cosine of pi is negative 1, so we get that this is minus 5 over minus 1 minus 2 pi. And if we wanted to multiply the top and bottom by minus 1, to just make it a little prettier, then I would get that this is 5 over 1 plus 2 pi. And that is our slope at that particular point. Okay, so now that we know the slope at this point, we have a point and we have a slope. The slope being 5 over 1 plus 2 pi. So now that I have a point and I have a slope, I can use those two and the point-slope equation of a line to find the equation of a tangent line. So let's do that. Let me erase really quick. Right now I won't erase my slope just so I can remember it. Uh, so we have y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. That's my point-slope equation of a line. 
my point is y uh, x1 y1 is y minus y1, which is pi, is equal to m, my slope. My slope was 5 over 1 plus 2 pi times x minus x1, which is pi squared over 5. Okay, let's multiply this out. We get y minus pi is equal to 5 over 1 plus 2 pi x uh, minus, uh, let's see, the 5s would cancel, and I would just get pi squared over 1 plus 2 pi. And finally, all I have to do is add a pi to both sides. And so I get that y is equal to 5 over 1 plus 2 pi x minus pi squared over 1 plus 2 pi plus pi.